This mm. is uh, RJ out and about of taking on what area of the Metroplex? I was taking on Wichita Falls, Texas, Sean. Ooh. Um, and we have a uh, we have a, a history with this team. It's a very good team. We uh, have played them twice this year. We've split. We played them again over the weekend, and we lost. Now we didn't lose without a fight, Sean. If you know what I mean. Oh, I was amped. First of all, it was 148 degrees outside. Now it, you're playing the the Little League World Series right now. Uh, right now, this is, yeah, my, my youngest is in the World Series. Okay. This was out at Rocker B. Okay, okay, got it. So, you know, we were staying at a very tranquil uh, lake and PK Lake. Uh, so we were out there anyway, but it was it was so hot, so hot. And my, uh, my son was pitching, so I was even more amped up. Ooh. And I'm having to coach first base, which I don't like to do. Mm. Because it gives me a responsibility, so I'd rather just sit in the dugout. So you're like the you're, you're like mm. the worst of the coaches, or you just rotate. No, I never coach third. The head coach always coaches third. Okay. Yeah, I never coach. He at least on our team, he always coaches. Third. Do you sit on the bench or the bucket? Uh, it depends on how hot it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh, but okay. most of the time, uh, I'm on. I'm standing up or on the bucket. Okay. But I'm outside usually. So it's in the first inning. And now, like I said, we have a history with this. The the our parents and their parents always seem to kind of get into it. Uh, their parents, uh, according to ours, are obnoxious, like super obnoxious. Okay. They have this one mom who is very very loud, very very loud. You can hear her for days. By the way, the more I don't know. Now that I have a kid, I can. I can kind of see how people would, you know, the ultimate shame is you getting into it at a Little League game and getting booted and embarrassed and kicked out. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's all about you. You're a mm -hmm. psycho. I, I can I can maybe see how words could be exchanged between parents at, at, yes. these, at these youth events. Yes. So, uh, you know, people say, hey, I'm a Wichita Falls. You want me to knock some trash cans over? Let me know. Uh, just if yeah, sure. Uh, so the, the you know so the eight we're playing the aces. Okay, I don't care. We're playing the aces. Oh, Let's the say. aces, good team name. I know, good team name. And they're like I said, they're a very good team, and they got a couple pitchers that are just fantastic. But uh, so Luca's pitching, and you know we're already on edge because the you know their fans, our fans, are always going at it. And he gets called for a balk in the first inning. Balk. Yeah. Okay. And the umpire was wrong. Uh, because he doesn't know the rules, which is commonplace. You know, you can't, you know, the batter stepped out, uh, and as rule 6.02 would say, <laughs> when the batter steps out and the pitcher doesn't make the throw, it's not a box. The batter already stepped out of the box. But the umpire doesn't know the rules, and what do you expect? That's fine. But we argue. We argue the call. Our coach goes out, starts arguing, and their coaches, all six of them, Ugh. and we only have two because one of our other ones isn't there. You don't need six coaches out there. He starts saying... Guys, we're on the clock here. We're on the clock. Let's go. Let's oh, keep it moving. Oh, he called time. And I, I yell it. out, we're in the first inning, champ. <laughs> Nobody cares about uh, the clock. Oh, no. So this goes on for like two or three minutes. And there's a back and forth going. There's coaches that keep saying, let's go, let's go. Their parents are like, come on, let's go. We got a game to play. Oh. You didn't have to accent them right there. Well, I mean, I'm going to accent <laughs> Wichita Falls. You didn't have to accent them. Okay. <laughs> Because their fan base, their the number of sleeveless cutoff shirts outnumbers diplomas <laughs> with their fan base. It just does. <laughs> Dang. So the next inning goes. So this was bottom one, I think. Top two, <laughs> we have a guy on second. We steal third. Ooh. The call is safe. He was safe. Now he may have come off the bag. I couldn't tell. I was on the other. I was in the first base dugout. Or the first base uh, coaching box. I couldn't tell. Their coach goes to argue the call. And I yell out, hey, 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 we're on the clock here. Oh, oh mocked them. You know, mocked them. Mocked them. And then their moms were like, nah, nah, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I I just keep going back and forth with the coach. And he's like, now, are you usually, have you ever been this vocal? Never. Ever. But it's because of what playoffs do or it's die. It's because it was playoffs. It's 173 degrees outside. I'm hungover. 
<laughs> and Lucas <laughs> pitching. <laughs> you left that part out. Yeah. Why well, did you drink the night before? Uh, Why am I asking I that? had a lot of Modelo okay. the night before. Uh, and maybe some whiskey. And may, I don't know, maybe some more stuff. But, so I'm still on edge, okay? And the other coach is like, Coach, I'm just arguing for two minutes. And I'm like, yeah. The difference is, we were right, and you're wrong. <laughs> and this lady, the only lady in the entire facility who refuses to get into the shade because she has to work on her tan, which, by the way, we're just going to call her Magda from Something About Mary. Okay. Because I that's like exactly it. what she looked like. <laughs> the old lady, this I got This wrinkly it. old hag. Okay. <laughs> she starts coming at me. And I pointed her and I said, mind your business, you. Whoa. Whoa. That may have been a mistake. Because <laughs> one of the coaches appears to be her husband. And he was like, he comes at me. And he's like, don't ever touch my wife like that again. <laughs> Mike you've Fisher? heard that, yeah. You've heard that before. I know, right? Right. And I, I look at him, and I was like, "Oh God, of course he had to be big." No, he was. He was an old man, and I was like, "I'm not going to touch an old man." Yeah, you're not bass. I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, "What are you going to do? Send your kid after me?" Uh, I mean, like you old fart. What, what are you going to do? <laughs> at this point, the umpires got involved. Our coach got involved. Was like, "Guys, guys, 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 enough." All right. Uh, but. That's that's kind of how it ended. Wow. Yeah, I was. I I, I even said to our parents, I was like, "Look, you got my back." You got me. <laughs> you and got, we got uh, guys, you no. walking over to yeah. the mom with the oranges, saying, "You got my back." Or yeah, what? <laughs> like because you know most. Here's the problem: like most of our fans, like you know, we we didn't have as many fans as they did, because we had like a lot of the parents on our team were with their other kids at other tournaments this weekend. Maybe their their fans just didn't have. Uh, other tournaments or whatever. I don't know. But they had a lot more fans than we did. So where there was a fight, we were going to get worked. Okay. Who, who won? Oh, they won. They beat us. They was beat that us. like just bitter? Oh, how, I was. How, how'd Luca pitch? He pitched well. He pitched well. He gave like two runs, four, and then we wound up blue, three runs, and then we wound up losing like seven to two. Did they talk smack or was there like No, a... they were fine. They were fine. But they did, you know, their first base coach, who I went after, that guy, with the, I guess it was his wife, he was coaching first when the game, when the time ended. And uh, you know he he didn't even look at me when he was when we were gonna go uh, you know congratulate them. Mm. He just walked right by. You know I get it. Like he was an old man. I would have worked him. <laughs> All right. I would I would have I would have dragged him around the bases. All right. Now this is the part where I come in. You guys go. Ah, oh, shut up, Troy. How old are these kids? Uh, this this is eleven. You eleven. You and you are going to get in a fist fight. No, I was. Uh, well, yes, I was. baseball. Well, yeah, game. because you know I like, was going to get a fight on. because they Co sucked. Yeah, but you were going to fight at an eleven U baseball game. Yeah, he's, he's setting you up for something. Yeah. No, I'm not setting you up. I'm just saying. Don't you see the how that's wrong? Oh, I'm not proud of it. Okay, okay, yeah. that's uh, that's what I'm trying I'm to get proud. to. I am proud of my line. I mean, it's mind great content for mind us. Your we business, love it. You, I think, is one of my all-time greatest yeah. lines I've ever. But you I never mean, thought that you were going to get in a physical confrontation no. at one of your kids' games? No, because I don't want to scar their childhood. Yeah, because that <laughs> happened to me. That happened to me. I was at a, uh, a basketball all-star game for little dribblers when I was like nine years old in Quitman, Texas, and a coach got in a fight with the ref, and then the other ref came back with a crowbar and cracked him over the head with it.